Why do Saints fans hate Derek Carr? Is he already a top three quarterback in Saints history? Me and Kevin are going to argue it out. Thomas, hit that intro. Welcome to the award-winning Saints Happy Hour podcast. Seriously, this podcast has won awards. American standards are dropping every day. The show features Ralph, the best host in the world, who can barely pronounce his own name, much less anyone else's. Marcus Colson, Colston, I mean, uh, Marcus Calloway. Dave is that dude who loves taking bathroom breaks. He's mad about almost anything, so make sure to lower your volume when he speaks. Put that freaking clown meme back up that I made. Jesus Christ. Andrew has sources, watches tapes, and knows football. He rarely shows up on time and wants to commit crimes to help the Saints win. Sean Payton would have done illegal things. Don't tell me I'm wrong, because you know it's true. Oh, and there's also Kevin, who is great at doing mock drafts, but struggles to actually watch Saints games or have a functioning relationship. Budrich wants to know how uh, the doctors do. That that ended. Anyway, grab a drink, sit back, and enjoy the insanity. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome to another edition of Saints Happy Hour podcast. If you're finding us on the YouTubes, subscribe to our channel, like this video. If you're listening to the audio-only version, uh, subscribe to us wherever you get your podcasts, and go to saintshappyhour.com, become, become a patron, support the show. Uh, we can't do this guy without you guys. Uh, I got Kevin with me. I got Thomas running the show back in Poland. Um, today, Kevin, me and you are going to discuss slash argue, and I'm going to yell at some Saints fans. Um, Saints fans in general, uh, the loudest, a loud portion of them, they seem to hate Derek Carr. And he was ranked by CBS or our 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 our, um, our Bleacher Report as the 26th best quarterback, which is it was absurd. like boot cr- was it what was it boot crew boot, media or something? Boot so crew let me media retweeted it, um, but it's absurd. Like to say Derek Carr is the 26th best quarterback in the NFL is absurd. Like yeah, I've got it right here. Yeah, it's CBS Sports ranked Derek Carr the 26th best, and their power rankings. According to Cody Benjamin of CBS Sports, Derek Carr is 26. I don't even know where the, who the, who's in the top 10 here. I, I'm I'm looking at 11 through 32. So, yeah, I mean, Derek Carr is behind. Is behind. Excuse me, I feel a sneeze coming. <laughs> Derek Carr is behind rookie JJ McCarthy. Rookie Sorry. Caleb Williams. Absurd. Ba- basically a second year rookie in Anthony Richardson. Absurd. He's behind Russell Wilson, who is moving to the Steelers. He's behind Deshaun Watson. Absurd. And yeah, like, and he's Will behind Levis? Aaron Rodgers. Absurd. He's behind Aaron Rodgers, whose Achilles blew up last year. Will Never Levis? Never played absurd. a game. Russell Wilson, absurd. Geno Smith, absurd. Um, Baker listen. Mayfield. He's about Derek Carr is anywhere from fourteen to twenty. Right. I was gonna. I was gonna say twenty. If yeah. you had him at twenty, and had him behind, and had him behind some of these people, I I, I think there'd be a lot less yeah. hubbub being made about it. That's right. And the but thing- the idea the idea that he is in the bottom third of quarterbacks in the league is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, and here's the thing. Like, I believe that uh, they're going to have quarterbacks. The six quarterbacks that were drafted this year in the first round. Kevin, I'm going to tell you right flat out. Like, I guarantee you Derek Carr is going to have a better career than four of them. You know? Like, yeah. I mean, couple- look, that, like passing your – look, 2023 – yeah. Passing yards, total passing yards. Derek Carr finished 13th overall. Mm-hmm. Average yards per game, Derek Carr in that shit. The, these fools move, the, they, they don't have that ranked so great. Now you, I got to go find... Well, the, the, it, it's the, like, it's again, I'm not trying to say that he's Derek good. Carr is a top 10 quarterback. Nobody on this show is that. going to try and sell you on Derek Carr... Mm-hmm being a top 10 quarterback we are not insane we're not delusional we are not we are not Derek one of one here 
But what we are telling you is anybody who wants to act, who wants to scream and shout from the mountaintops that Derek Carr is the drizzling shits or that he is the dirt worst or that he is the worst quarterback the Saints have ever had are either misinformed or they're just flat out. They're either misinformed or they're full of shit. Well, I think it's. I think it's partially the the second point. I think there is a loud percentage of Saints fans on social media that they want the Saints to be bad. They want Dennis Allen fired. They want to burn it all down and rebuild, quote unquote, right? So they want that. So in order to have that, they either are deluding themselves about Derek Carr or they just wanted to fit their narrative and tell themselves that Derek Carr is horrible and okay D- so Derek Carr yards per safe. game yards per game in 2023 Derek Carr ranked 17th yeah uh, qu- uh quarterback rating Derek Carr ranked 10th 10th in 2023 yeah so, you know, okay, completion percentage. Jesus Christ, Derek Carr ranked sixth he's, he's, he's right. in, in completion percentage. And again, we're not telling you he's a top 10 quarterback. The numbers are saying that. Yeah. But again, I'm not going to use, I'm not going to try and use the numbers to tell you that Derek Carr is a top 10 quarterback. What I am pointing out is that the numbers say that Derek Carr is not the drizzling shits. He is not one of the worst quarterbacks in Saints history. He is not a garbage quarterback. He yeah. is a mid-level. Uh, he is anywhere. His his floor is mediocre. His ceiling is above average right now. That's where he's at, yes, sir. which That's perfectly right. slots him in that 14 to 20 range That's in right. the NFL. The NFL, yeah. the quarterbacks are a lot better now than they were 10, 20 years ago. They just well, are. Well, and the thing is, I think that, that, that str- people, fans struggle with Derek Carr is he's that quarterback where he's just good enough for you to want something better. Right. Com- and you combine that with the fact that he's not really that likable. And that's oh, just no. a horrible I, combination. I'm, yeah, exactly. Listen, there's a, there's a saying. Uh, in 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 the in in wrestling, that uh, this it's it's and it's a two it's two it 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 cuts both ways. It's boy, this guy's good in the ring, but I I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want him to, I wouldn't invite him to my barbecue. Or flip side is, oh, I would abs- I'd hang out with the guy and and have a drink with him or or do what it's insert whatever, but. I wouldn't book him on my show because you yeah. think he sucks in the ring. So Derek Carr, he's not exactly the most likable guy. He just comes across as like not yeah. bad, but just weird. Like, like his, you know, some of and yeah. some of that's the religion stuff. But it's like we've had other people yeah. on the team who have been religious. It's just the way he does it. It feels weird. Yeah, and the one that's thing I'll it. Say- the one thing I'll say for him, though, Kevin, is the NOLA.com article this week, he said, uh, I didn't do so good this year. I was having trouble bonding with my teammates and just the new team. It was weird. I'm trying to be a better leader. Like, So he's like, apparently, if, uh, if Saints players invite him, he goes there. You invite Derek Carr over, he's showing up now. He's trying to be like a better teammate. Which be is what friends. you should do. Yeah, which is You cool. should do. This, like, like, again, if I was in the Derek Carr camp or like in his uh, inner, close to that inner circle, I'd have been like, my guy, this is the shit you need to be doing. The minute you sign a contract is calling yeah. guys up, being like, you know, hitting them up, asking them like, oh, hey, what are the good spots? What are the good restaurants? Right. Just a whole. And look, maybe he did some of that and we never heard it. But there's a. It, it, I mean, shit, I should almost be working PR for some of these uh, goddamn <laughs> but, people. But but in inner inner PR, it's like, well, here's what you need to do. You need to run through this checklist 
And here's how you make that good first impression and come off as a very solid, likable teammate that are going to say good things about you to the media, that are going to grease the tracks with the general public. So when you come out and you have a couple of mediocre games, people aren't suddenly decrying that, oh my God, it's raining blood from the fucking sky and, and, and you're, the, you're the harbinger of the apocalypse. Here's the thing. Before we get to the debate on where Derek Carr already ranks in um, top five Saints quarterbacks, if he does, I'm going to say this. Yeah. If you combined Derek Carr's on-field play with Jameis Winston's fun, jovial personality, we'd be beloved. It. We'd be beloved. Right. We'd be like, right. hey, 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 don't be bashing on Derek Carr. Just get him better. Get him better. Get him a better offensive line. Right. He can take us where we need to go. I right. like him. He just needs a better. But because he's kind of not likable, we're like, bleep that guy. Maybe we want somebody right. new. Right. But here's here's he's, my he's, question. He's a, he's, a, he's a wet rag. He, that's right. That's the perfect. He's, he's a <laughs> Derek, wet rag. Derek wet rag car. I like that. That's, that is an old timey 1960s nickname. Um. But here's the, 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 the thing that I wanted to discuss in this podcast, and you brought it up. You brought it up. He's not the worst Saints quarterback ever. And, I, and Saints history at quarterback in the non-Drew Brees category is really, really sad. It's bad. It's bad. It's sad and it ain't disgusting. Bad. It's bad. Everybody, it's bad. Listen, everybody and their goddamn mother has, has – they, they got the little Novena candle for, for Archie Manning, and everybody right. loves Archie Manning. We, we, everybody loves Archie. Look. Patriarch, great. He he's he 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 was he was one of the few talented people on that god awful franchise. But the man and the man was running for his life left and right. Uh, the 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 whole nine. But Archie's tenure with the Saints, he was not good. Period. He wasn't right. good. He now was he good. wasn't good because the team around him absolutely sucked and nearly got the man killed on multiple occasions. So you can say he sucked, but the team around him sucked, yeah. and, you can, and he could only do so much. That's right. And because he hung around and stayed in the city and all that other stuff, it, 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 he became beloved uh, right. you know, as the and years went on. Two, Saints fans of a certain age, the Saints were so dreadful in the 70s. The Saints were the worst organization in professional sports in, in North America in, in the 70s. When you tell a Saints fan that watched them in the 70s, Archie Manning wasn't any good, they take it as a personal affront, I believe, Kevin, because he was all they had. He was the only thing that gave the Saints hope in the 70s. So if you tell them Archie was terrible, you're basically saying you wasted your life in the 70s rooting for the Saints. And they take that as a personal front. But I'm going to say this. Rooting for sports is a – rooting for sports in general is a waste, Ralph. But I'm going to tell it's you It's a this. waste. This technically is a waste. No, what not. does this really accomplish? And, and, and look, I'm getting, I'm getting hyper-philosophical here. I get it. We're two dudes and a Polish guy halfway around the world doing a, a sports podcast – a, a niche sports podcast about a football team where we're occupying a grain of sand on a blue marble oh floating in a heliocentric orbit around a medium sized star in an ever expanding universe that is someday going to expand and shatter and collapse in on itself. So this really nothing fucking session. matters here. So, <laughs> so, so let's pull it back and just say, Rooting for sports in general is silly in general, and okay. that's fine. It's what we do. It's what we watch for, to be entertained and to feel something extra, and that's great. What? Saying Archie Manning was bad when he was playing does not mean that, you're, that you wasted your time. It means that you were watching a guy who was talented on a shit team have to try and pull them and you and an entire fan base through the muck and mire and give you something to believe in. That's right. But here's the thing. I'm on one today. You're on one today. The Saints quarterback history, I think Derek Carr is one more season. If he has a season exactly like he had in 2023, Kevin. You want to get, the, think, you want to get the exact numbers on that? 
I think he would be the third best quarterback in Saints history behind Drew Brees, Aaron Brooks, and then Derek Carr. I would Just one more season. One more season. If he wins, if he somehow, if the Saints somehow conjured up a miracle and stumbled to 10 and 7 and Derek Carr won a playoff game, you might be able to argue he's number two behind Aaron Brooks. Like, that's you mean how behind sick, Drew. Behind Drew, right? Ahead of Aaron. Ahead, ahead of Aaron Brooks. Because listen, like, our, Bobby Bear. granted, I personally despise the man. Because of the four playoff losses, he got worse in each and every one of them. And he was mostly responsible, I believe, for the playoff losses. Not Jim Mora, not Carl Smith, Bobby Bear. So I have a grudge against him. I freely admit that. But he was a passenger mm-hmm. on those Saints teams from 1987 to 1992. The defense carried those. <laughs> He was a passenger. Like, at no point were we like, thank God we got Bobby Bear. He's amazing. Like, you know, he's, he held out for a year, and we were like, oh, I guess we got to bring him back. Steve Walsh is not good. Like, that was the bar. Like, just be better than Steve Walsh and John Forgate. That's, that's too low. Bring Bobby back. Like, that's the bar. At no point were we like, Bobby Bear is good enough to get us to a Super Bowl. He's an elite quarterback. He is the best quarterback in Saints history. At no point did we ever think that. Even when they were winning, people were always like, yeah, Bobby, Bobby, he's not as good as Archie. And like, I... Archie Manning, as the starter for the Saints, went 35, 91, and 3. I would... I will, I will repeat that. <laughs> 35, 91, and 3. That, um, that is a bad that win is, percentage. I mean, that, that is, I mean, you, you look. To That's put not that ideal. In, <laughs> but put that in, pers- to, Kevin, to put that in perspective. Like to put that in perspective. That is 11 years of quarterbacking the Saints, and he went. He won 35 games from 2017 through 2020. The Saints won 40. Uh, let's see, 13, 13, and 12 is 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 26, 40. The Saints won um, uh, 59 games in four in 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. In four years, they won almost twice as many as Archie did in 11. That's how, that's how dreadful the Saints were in his time. And, oh, by the way, uh, he, his, his sack total is just, um, it's, it's, it's unreal. It's three. Yeah, 49. 40, yeah, yeah, 2017 through 2020, 49 wins. Archie Manning got sacked 340 times as Saints quarterback. <laughs> that that's preposterous. But that aside, like he <laughs> lost 3k yards on sacks alone. 3k on sacks. Like God. and the thing is Archie was mobile. He could run. Like he was like Imagine you know, if he wasn't mobile. Imagine he'd be dead. He'd be dead. That's we we They'd have a statue out in front of him and they'd be like, Archie Manning. It'd be a memorial. It'd be like, Archie Manning died on 1978 versus the Redskins. He was sacked. He was sacked 18 times. He went to the hospital and And didn't um, come out. And didn't come out. But my point is, like, you look at the stats for Bobby Abair 59% completion, 135 touchdowns, 124. Like, his stats with the Saints, not great. Like, I believe Derek Carr, I said it before, one more good year, like 2023, one more good year, he's top, he's probably top four. You think he's top four now? I think he's top four now. I think if he has one more good year, I'd put him third. I'd put so, him third. okay. So, I don't so believe let's... quarterback wins are a stat. I don't, I don't credit quarterback wins. As you don't? Statistic. No, I think it's I think it's I think it's team. I think 
quarterback wins is a team more team oriented. You know? I think it can be used to bolster an argument. I think if you based it an argument on on that, it's you're building on a weak foundation. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Like Bobby Abear's entire argument is I'm the second best quarterback in the Saints history because I won more games. We won more games when I was the quarterback. And that like that's that to me is not enough. It's not enough. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree with that. So okay, so so then so then who are the top four? So okay, so it's Drew, Aaron Brooks, Bobby Abear at three. Yeah. And then and so and, and so and so who who would be four and five? Let's not put Derek Carr in this right I now. I would say who who would be four and five? I think I think Archie would be four. Longevity, stats, patriarch, all that. And then five, five, I'm going. I'm either going. There's an insane answer. There's an insane answer that you could pull, and I'm I'm ready to jump on you. See, you could go Jim Everett. He had two decent years with the Saints and then fell off. Seven and nine. But seven and nine, two years, and then went three and twelve. But it, but his stats for the first two years were pretty good. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of garbage time stats. Not the, like the, the the everything people accused Derek Carr of being. Jim Everett actually was that. Like he had a lot of garbage time stats when the Saints were on. You go him. You could go um, Jeff Blake for eleven games if you really wanted to get weird, or. You go Teddy Bridgewater. I was waiting. I was waiting on Teddy. Teddy Bridgewater, his entire reason for being in the top five is the two that he, he, they won games. He never lost as a starter for the Saints. And he, he was, did in 2018. What? He went, oh, oh one that's right. The last game of the year. And he was beloved. Like, that's it. That's the whole. Teddy Bridgewater is top five quarterback Saints history vibes. That's it. That's it. And I'm you not. Know, I, I'll, I'll tell you what's crazy. What is you might you put him higher. It, no, I'm saying you might you might be able to make an argument for Taysom Hill. You might be. I mean, seriously, like that would that's a hell of a of a thing. Is figuring out the top is once we figure out where Derek Carr is right now, and th- we don't have to do it today. But figuring out the top ten quarterbacks in franchise history, yeah. Because once you get past five or six, it's oh man, it is. It's it, suddenly like it is. Awesome. It's suddenly like okay, so which Billy Joe do you put in there? Like, like where does John Forcade rank in this? <laughs> Steve like, Walsh. Like, like Ken Stabler went 11 and 11, and he was a corpse. He was. That's right. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. The, the, say, the, this, the, the, that, this is the thing that's so weird about the history of the Saints history at quarterback. It's fucking dreadful. Yeah. And yet they haven't drafted a quarterback in the first round in 50 years. Like yeah. that, like those two things shouldn't make this. When you look, if you just drop the person that that knew that like knew football, right, and was like, well, like a young person, and they were like, but they knew knew football, they loved the NFL, but they were like twenty five years old, and yeah. you said, hey, go and look at the Saints' history of their winning and their quarterback stats, and then I want you to. Guess without Googling. I want you to guess how many times do you think the Saints have picked a quarterback in the first round the last 50 years? And I bet you they would guess like six or seven times because they'd be like, these quarterbacks are dreadful and you have got to take a, you had to take a shot. And no, the Saints just have not. And it's, it's incredible. Um, Where do, do you agree with me though? Do you think Derek Carr is top five already? I, I after, it's weird saying it after one season. It just feels like to me it just feels like incomplete. But if you wanted me to say he's we're just going to slot him in at 5 for right now. Um yeah. 
and then and then sort of just adjust whenever he's done. Okay. I, I guess I guess I get more finicky when you say if he has one more season like this or better, you could you could vault him to number two. Yeah, I feel weird doing that. <clears throat> I feel but, weird doing that. Like I feel like he's got to get he's got to get three or four seasons with the team in order to get. Does a, he? Does he? Does he? Like look. <laughs> let's say he comes out, let's say he comes out this year and has a mediocre run and the Saints elect to go with uh, the South Spencer, Carolina kid. That's a rattler. Right. And let's say they just elect to go with him. They pay off Derek and he goes on his merry way. Well, then he's gone from the team. And then we have what we have. We have the beginning and the end for context. So yeah. at that point, we can rate him based on the two seasons and and know and and know where he slots in. Whereas it's like now you're asking me to slot him in, yeah, to slot because him if in. He, if he when we if, don't know what the where where, plays, where it is. If he only plays two years for the Saints, that that's going to mean to me he either got injured this year or he was dreadful and they pulled him. Right. So then his two years of stats kind of go into that. He falls in that Jim Everett. Okay, year, terrible year, out of here, right? Right. That, that becomes difficult. Right. But I'm telling you. But like, if, so, so, so then the question is, we're basing where you, you slot him based off of the one year and maybe an expectation of where he might be. Like, it, I'm tell like, you. like we're projecting it out. I'm tell you, I'm tell you a fire debate, and I'll get, probably get banned from Twitter for this, Thomas. You'll have to protect me. Uh, Derek Carr, same exact season as 2023, exactly the same. But the tiebreakers fall for the Saints. They win the South. Derek Carr has an amazing playoff game. I won't die on the hill that he's better than Aaron Brooks, but I will fight you to the death that he's better than Bobby Bear. Because I'll say he's got two seasons better than anything Bobby Bear has, and he's got a playoff win. You're done, Bobby. You, Derek Carr, minimum third best quarterback in Saints history. I will, I will fight people. So, I okay. Will. So if they make the play, so if they somehow get the get into the playoffs and win a playoff game, you're saying Derek Carr vaults ahead of Bobby Bear and is instantly the, the third best quarterback instantly. in St. history. Instantly. Okay. Instant. Instantly. Not even, okay. not even a question. Because here's the thing, Kevin. Bobby Bear never had anything close to what Derek Carr had this past year. And I don't, like, you could tell me, oh, it was a different time, and blah, 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 blah. No. Did Bobby Bear never did anything Close st statistically to Derek Carr, Bobby Abair was an interception machine, even with the Saints. You know, he yeah. was a turn he was a turnover machine with a team that had a great defense. The one thing you you want didn't want the offense to do is turn the ball over. Bobby Abair did it all the time. Um, so I'm going to say, like, and I know people are going to be infuriated. They're going to have a ton of mean comments about me, about the board, about my uh, $20 imitation polo shirt. They're going to have all these mean comments because people <laughs> ride hard for Bobby Bear. They're wrong. They're bad people because Bobby Bear was not that good, and he was a failure in playoff games. Uh, he was the Cajun pop gun in the playoff games. Two of those playoff games, minimum, his fault entirely. So Derek Carr, because if he gets 25 touchdowns, that'll give him 50 touchdown passes. Where would 50 touchdown passes put him in Saints history? It would be... So let's see. Good God. Okay, I got to figure that part out. So Saints, quarterback, stats, mm -hmm. history. Uh, Saints career passing leaders. So total touchdowns, 
So Derek Carr, yeah. So if Derek gets up to 50, that puts him sixth all time. Sixth? Behind Jim Everett at 60. Bobby Abair had 85. <clears throat> Archie had 115. Aaron Brooks had 120. And, and, and Andrew Christopher Breeze had 491. But then again, that is, oh no, that is just his Saints time. <sighs> That's just his Saints time. So you can add the, So you can add the next four dudes and they don't equal Breeze. Uh, let me see if I can do that math here. 120 and 115 is 235. Uh, 235 and 85 is 320, I think. Yeah. So 320 and 60 is 380. Uh, Billy Kilmer had 47. So 380 and 47 is 427. Uh, Dave Wilson. Had 36, so 427 and 36 is 4... Wait. 60, 466. 463. 463. 463 plus 20... Well, Steve Walsh and Derek Carr each had 25, so 463 and 50. So you would have to combine the next eight quarterbacks <laughs> on the list. You would have to combine two through nine... To surpass Drew Brees' output. It's amazing. In terms of touchdown passes. It's amazing. I mean, final thought on this. this is, it's just, we're doing a law, we're doing the long way around to just be like, God damn, Drew Brees was great, wasn't yeah, he? That's right. I mean, that's what this we're is never, all about. We're never getting Drew that again. Drew Brees great. Wasn't we're he never, great? We're never getting that again. We get the, uh, play, you know, we got the videos now of, uh, of Chase Daniel holding up the playbook. Like the thick ass playbook, because because some NBA player had to go and say something silly about NBA players could play in the NFL and and all that kind of shit. And Chase Daniel, the fucking perennial backup, is holding up this giant ass playbook the and he's Saints. dissecting he's dissecting one play, Spider Y the Banana Saints? X seventy five rocket fuel or some crap. And it's just like Drew Brees mastered that got that Bible. It was a Bible. Dude, it Drew was, Brees no, mastered that. It was that. bigger than the Bible. It looked bigger than the Bible. It looked like Well, it depends on which edition. It looked like the uh the the it looked like the owner's manual for the nasa space shuttle it was so and drew Brees had that shit mastered mastered cold backwards and forwards and 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 was doing all this stuff and then chase daniel again a backup the came in doing... dissected a playbook could explain to you this thing and 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 it's like you're gonna tell me only, you're gonna you tell me what... anybody can come in here and do this no you know, you know what that made me think of? I felt bad for Bo Nix because he's the co he's the quarterback in Denver now. I'm like that poor that poor that poor young man's gonna have an aneurysm. Yeah, congrat. Yeah, you graduated. Congratulations, uh, congratulations, you've graduated college, and now you're going back to school again. Yeah. Final final thing, Kevin. I rank Derek Carr tied with Bobby Abair, third best quarterback in Saints history right now. He's tied with Bobby Abair because I hate Bobby Abair. Uh, where are you before we get out of here on the rankings? Where, no, Derek, where is he right Curry. now? Give me enough. You and Bobby Hayter. It's going to come down to Bobby Hayter pushed you into the wall once at WWL 870. That's what it's going to come down to. That's what <laughs> happened. Yeah, that's what we're going to find the out. Love you got he, exposed. You, he made fun of your arm once, live on air or something. I mean, and and you've had it out for him ever since. That's what it's got to be. I mean, I wish I wish he was as I wish he was as focused. On that, as he was during playoff games for the Saints, maybe Jim Moore would have had a win. But where do you rank Derek Carr? Where do you rank Derek Carr right now? <laughs> oh, I love... See, we found it. Ralph has vitriol for some people. <laughs> he's, good about whole, he's good about hiding it. He's good at hiding it. I'm not. I'm not. You know that's exactly right. what I I'm, feel. That's right. Ralph's good. Ralph should be elected to something. Um... I got a hard time putting him third after one season. I got a, I, I, I'll slot him fifth right now after the one season. Mm -hmm. Even if they don't make the playoffs, if he has a good, if he has another year like this, he, he's immediately fourth. And the, here's the funny thing. I don't know who fourth is. I don't believe Archie Manning Here is the fourth best quarterback in Saints history. Oh, man. I don't. Here, here. So come after me with your pitchforks and whatever. Here, here's my thing, and I'll end on this. 
if you told me Derek Carr would be amazing in a playoff game for the Saints and would win a playoff game. Yeah. And I had to suffer for five more years after that with the Saints not winning a damn thing and being absolutely positively dreadful. I would sign the paperwork today because it would give me the ability until the day I die to crap all over Bobby A. Bear. And that would be worth whatever suffering I have to bear the rest of this decade. If, if Bobby A. Bear has zero haters left, it's because Ralph has departed the earth. That's right. Until I die. So, <laughs> that, if you like this podcast and you like this, uh. subscribe, go to saintshappyhour.com, become a patron, uh, or just find us wherever you uh, listen to your podcasts and listen to the show. Thanks to, to Kevin for hanging out with me. Thanks to Thomas for running the show back in Poland, doing an amazing job. Uh, until next time, the bar is closed. He's flustered over Bobby Bear. I am. <laughs>